Today, Power Utility ESCOM implemented Stage 4 and 6 load shedding. It says this pattern of power cuts will be repeated until further notice. So we are now joined uh, via our video link by Professor Hartmut Winkler from the University of Johannesburg's Faculty of Physics. And he, he will be weighing in on ESCOM's electricity generating capacity. Uh, Professor, thank you so much for joining us here on the late edition. You know, one would say that, uh, you know, the Stage 2 load shedding we have been enjoying uh, for a couple of weeks now, clearly here, uh, was uh, short-lived for many South Africans. Uh, yes, I, I think what's been happening in the last month or two is certainly not what anybody expected, uh, including the electricity minister. We were uh, predicting a, a much heavier load shedding. Um, we're still trying to figure out exactly why it hasn't happened. Uh, it's a combination of uh, the ESCOM power stations breaking down less and, and also there being a slightly lower demand. Now we're back to more what we're expecting. It's still reasonably good, though, I should say, uh, given that this week is probably the heaviest uh, that we're going to have in terms of demand. And uh, I've, I've just looked at the statistics the last two nights. Uh, the, the demand for electricity from Eskom is the highest uh, we've had all year, not surprisingly, because it's extremely mm. cold in most parts of the country. So lots of people using heaters mm. uh, and so on. The fact that we're only on stage six uh, it, under such circumstances is actually reasonably good. Uh, I was expecting that uh, this winter we would at some point go to stage eight. That may, of course, still happen, but it hasn't. Uh, so, so far, so good. But I think what's prompted uh, this uh, regression to slightly higher stages of load shedding is uh, partly the cold, but also that uh, they have been experiencing more breakdowns again. Yeah. Unfortunately, Eskim has not been very specific about where exactly the breakdowns are, but uh, I guess it's it's the, uh, look back to what the sort of pattern we had a few months ago. Yeah, and it basically does also bring me then, uh, you know, to the following question of what went wrong here, because we are being told uh, that uh, it is due to a loss of additional generating units. But what does that mean to South Africans? Yes, yes, that just really means that, that uh, two or three extra power stations are not uh, producing. Now, that could just be a, a random effect uh, because with all the breakdowns of power stations experience, we, unfortunately, we cannot predict exactly when each one will do. So there are going to be times when, unfortunately, a whole series are going to be uh, breaking down more or less at the same time. So we might be going through a patch like that. If that's the case, then we should be back at, at lower stages of load shedding within a few days. But I, I, I suspect we're probably going to be staying at slightly higher stages. Uh, I don't know how come Eskom was performing better. Was this a case that they had somehow been able to work out their technical uh, capacity, uh, in other words, to be able to fix things better than they were before? Mm. I don't really think that that would be the case. Eskom is extremely experienced and uh, you, you can't turn around a massive organization like that in, in a matter of a few weeks. So what might have happened, uh, people have always been talking about uh, an element of sabotage. It might be that for whatever reason in the last couple of weeks, there's been less of that. Mm. That could be uh, because people, people were watching more carefully. It could be for other reasons. And it might be uh, that uh, for, uh, maybe this is coming back again. Uh, sabotage, I don't think accounts for all load shedding, but it probably does account for one or two stages. Mm. And of course, Professor, you've just said that uh, ESCOM has been performing better. Uh, so do you think with the weather service saying that we are experiencing some of the cold days in years in this country, it could have been worse. So we could have found ourselves in yes. stage eight or stage 10 load shedding. Yes, yes, very much so. I, uh, I I think that uh, we, when we, where we were a few months ago, if you would have asked me this question a few months ago, where would, would we be on a night like tonight or, uh, or uh, where we, uh, the sort of weather we've been experiencing this week, I would have said we're now on stage eight. Uh, but uh, we're not quite as bad as that. Mm. And, you know, when you look at, uh, you know, the next days to come and the rest of uh, the winter period, you know, what would you say we can, how soon can we expect to be placed back on stage two or stage three load shedding again? Yeah, difficult to say if they manage to, uh, because Eskom has been specific about what the nature is of the latest breakdowns. Of course, Eskom has got a problem that they've got a lot of, 
a fairly large power station on, on very long outages. In particular, virtually the whole of Kusile, which is the biggest uh, 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 power station in the country, is not operating and those repairs are going to take at least until the end of the year. Similarly, one of the units of Kuburg is out and that's still going to be out for a few months. One of the units at, at Medupi, those ones certainly can't be fixed in a hurry. Uh, but uh, wherever else there are problems, and unfortunately Eskom hasn't been specific, is this simply a case of, of a, 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 something tripping, in which case that can be sorted out in a day or so? Is it something where there's a bre major breakage which will take several months to do? Um, so at the moment, we're really just working on, on, on guesswork and statistics and, until Eskom uh, does tell us uh, um, uh, what the nature of, of the breakdowns is. I, I would expect that we probably get a, a stay in a similar kind of situation, sort of going between, say, stage three and stage six, probably for until the rest of the month. Mm. And, uh, Professor, just before winter started, of course, many South Africans uh, were warned about a complete blackout, uh, you know, higher stages of load shedding. What is the likelihood of that taking place now? You know, you are just saying that you are expecting load shedding to take place uh, stages three to six. Can we still expect a blackout if it seems as if uh, you know uh, this power utility seems to be performing better uh, I, sh I should explain that a black blackout can happen even it's uh, when you have no load shedding whatsoever it's simply if you have more uh, yeah if you have more de uh, uh, demand than what you can supply then you will end up with a black dark blackout whether you're on stage 12 or whether you're on stage uh, one uh, the, the reason why uh, uh, the, the danger for blackout, uh, blackout increases uh, when uh, you're very poor performance because you might have several breakdowns in a, in a very short space and uh, you might, uh, whoever is uh, operating the, the control that ESCO might not be able to uh, react quickly. But load shedding is designed to stop a blackout. Uh, so whenever there's a danger of blackouts, ESCOM simply goes to a higher stage of load shedding. It's, it's inconvenient for, uh, for everybody, but that's the way to stop a blackout. So if, it, if you're on stage 10, you can still go to stage 12. All right, uh, then, uh, Professor, that is uh, Professor Hartmut uh, Winkler. He is uh, from uh, the University of Johannesburg's Faculty of Physics. Just giving us a bit of insight there when it comes to why we are experiencing load shedding and basically saying, uh, you know, the reasons behind uh, load shedding only being ramped up uh, to at least stage two and three for the past couple of weeks.